Hey guys, welcome back to this Winter Wonderland series. This is day nine. We've got one more to go until the series is complete tomorrow. Today we're gonna be working on another classic Christmas. This vinyl is from the Flynn Sisters Vintage Christmas Pack. This is not available, but you can sub it for any other plaid vinyl or whatever vinyl you'd like to. We are going to start out with this 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. This came as a white prepped base, so I didn't have to do anything to the base of it. We are going to apply this vinyl about two thirds of the top of this tumbler using the hinge method. We're gonna cut off about an inch of backing on the vinyl, and then we're going to press the vinyl onto the cup while pushing the backing off of the cup. You can use your hands, you can use a squeegee, whatever works best for you guys. We're gonna lay that down and pop any air bubbles that we might get. Using the hinge method, you don't typically get a ton of bubbles underneath your vinyl, which is why it's my favorite method. So you probably won't have many to deal with if you are a pro. Once we get that applied and the seam trimmed down, I'm gonna go along with the horizontal line and use this striping assistant tool from the Amy's Make Everything. It's intended to put like a Sharpie or a pen or a pencil or something in there. I use it with my X-Acto as well. And I just used it to score off a straight line horizontally to trim any of that excess that was down on the bottom portion of my tumbler. And we saved ourselves some taping off, some measuring. We didn't have to do all the extra work. And then I'm gonna go along the top rim, trim off any of the excess there as well. There is just white spray paint exposed at the top. So I'm gonna go in, trim that down, and then I'm going to put my painter's tape along the rim of that once I clean the excess vinyl off and I'm going to end up glittering it. So we're going to put that tape down first. So that is something that doesn't get pulled up when we remove the transfer tape that's going to cover the vinyl once we spray paint. So that will go down first and then we're going to go in. I just have this six inch transfer tape that I like to use as um, kind of a replacement for any um, uh, saran wrap. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Um, so I'm gonna use that. It just sticks to the vinyl. It doesn't peel anything up. I love it. It's easy to use. And I don't really like this transfer tape for uh, decals. So I'm just kind of using it as a paint blocker, I guess. I don't know. So we're gonna go in and put that down and then put the painter's tape down, making sure that that is completely sealed off so none of that spray paint seeps up underneath the tape and gets into the vinyl. And then I spray painted this red, gold, and black. I didn't have a dark green, so I just used black in its place. And once that paint is dry and the epoxy is applied to that spray paint portion, we're gonna go in with peachy olive glitters as usual. We're gonna use Netflix and Chill, Midas, and a combination of greens, which include Severus, Pond House, and Malfoy. So we're going to kind of lay those down diagonal. I am going to remove the base of this tumbler, but I wanted to make sure that the glitter was completely applied around that bottom edge. And then we'll go back and pop that off. And we're going to use our ombre skills diagonally, if you will. Um, so we're gonna apply this at kind of an angle and just be careful that you're not going too heavy handed so you get a good blend. We're gonna do the same thing, angle it at about 45 degrees, but sideways <laughs> because we're going on a diagonal kind of curve instead of straight up and down like normal. Um, once you get a good blend on that, we're going to go in with a gloved hand, pat down any of that chunky glitter, make sure all of the ombres are fine tuned. And once you're happy with it, we're going to remove the tape.
We've removed everything except for that one inch piece of painter's tape at the top. We're gonna leave that onto glitter gold along the top rim. And I'm just gonna use this little pokey thing. I don't know the technical term, so don't ask me with the hammer and pop that cap off on the bottom so we can do a glitter booty. And then we're going to use the epoxy method to apply Cleopatra to the top rim of the cup. I used this instead of Midas because it's a fine glitter and it's going to cause way less of a headache in the end when we have to do sanding to get a smooth top rim. So we're gonna apply that and immediately remove that tape and let the glitter dry overnight. I sprayed about three coats of the Krylon Triple Thick Spray over the glitter to make sure it didn't move out of place. And then I put the UV resin mixture with my kind of dump glitter that I used, like the fall off from the ombre at the bottom. I just mixed that up and put it into that bottom cavity with about five milliliters of glitter to about 10 milliliters of the UV resin. Let that cure, added my acrylic tag, and then I went in with two coats of Flynn Sisters. I went in with one of Fast Set and one regular coat. After that first coat was cured, I went in and put this little decal on here. This came with that vintage vinyl pack as well. And then we're going to sand and apply that second coat so we can get a smooth base to apply the vinyl. Once again, we're going in with the textured gold metallic from Tech Wrap Craft. This one is 11 and a half width by 0 0.10 height. And we're just going to apply that band between the vinyl and glitter, cut off any excess. After that, I'm going to go in with my Dremel tool along the top rim and we're going to sand down to expose a little bit of stainless steel for the final coat of epoxy to adhere to just to ensure that it's got a good seal once your customer receives it and the longevity of the tumbler is intact. And then we're going to buff around the bottom base to sand down any of those pokey bits and making sure that we are using the 91% rubbing alcohol and towel, paper towel, whatever you wanna to use to wipe off any of that epoxy dust. And then we're going to put this on the turner with a coat of polycrylic around the gold band there just to make sure that doesn't lift under epoxy we'll let that sit and dry air dry for about 30 minutes or if you want to use your heat gun you're welcome to do that as well just be cautious that you don't get it too close to that vinyl striping otherwise it will bubble up and cause your vinyl to lift and then once that is completely dry we're going to go in with a final coat of epoxy for this tutorial. This will need another coat after this tutorial is done. It's just a tiny bit pokey at the bottom rim. But after that, this cup is completely finished and I absolutely love how this one turned out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications for day 10 tomorrow and I will see you guys in the next one.